Hello everybody, uh, I've made this uh, sort of an album cover of May Dark and uh, sort of less uh, respect to a uh, great artist. But um, I'm gonna explain how I have made this. Uh, it's pretty simple, it's more of a beginner's uh, tutorial. I uh, hope you like this tutorial and don't forget to subscribe. And yeah. Well, first thing, uh, what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna make uh, the background. So we're gonna make this uh, box, rounded uh, rectangle box, uh, what the text will be on, and then a shadow underneath. It's pretty simple, and uh, I will show you how. Uh, Best size for an album cover is 3000 times to 3000, but I'm gonna make it 1280 times 1280 uh, just because I'm recording pixels by the way, uh, 1280 pixels by 1280 pixels. Alright, um, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna use this rounded rectangle uh, tool. I'm gonna make a new layer. Uh, I'm gonna add this rectangle like so. Uh, I don't want to make it too wide. Uh, I'm gonna keep it at 9.75 centimeters uh, wide and about 3 centimeters. Uh, the height. Um, we're gonna go to blending options and we're gonna add a pattern the pattern that we're gonna add see what I kept in add some special brushes uh, ah there we go Okay, select OK. Uh, move this. I'm going to add a pattern to our liking. I want the patterns to be a little bit bigger, like so. I'm going to look for the pattern that we want to use. I kind of like this one. First off, what we're gonna do, what we're gonna do uh, is uh, add a gr uh, gradient to it. So like like so. Select the key, and we're gonna convert it to a smart object, and then right click again. I'm gonna go to blending options and I'm gonna add a pattern over it. Guess it's a special uh, look. I'm gonna scale the green up a little bit. Looks cool, but I'm gonna go for a certain look. See where was it? See this it's not really this. We're gonna keep it like this, pretty cool. We're gonna add a, a line to it, uh, 
72 uh, 5 pixels let's say 6 pixels wide and then set color to uh, gradient uh, set the radius to 90 degrees and we're gonna add a nice chrome gradient to it Kind of like this gradient. Select OK, and what we're gonna do now is uh, we're gonna change the background so you can see the result of how it would look like when I'm finished. Um, we're gonna change this gradient a little bit, change this to a darker color. So, a darker like Select OK and I'm going to set it to uh, radial. So I set it to about 90, 90% scale. Yeah. Okay, select OK. Now, once you're done there, we're going to start with the text. Or, uh, we're going to start with the shadow, sorry. We're going to duplicate this layer. Select OK, and we're gonna use this underneath. So we're gonna drop that layer down like so. And first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna crop this here like so. Then we're gonna go to Edit, Transform. Then uh, perspective. And I'm gonna drag this to the outside, like so. Little upwards, like so. Yeah. And move the pattern and line and everything. Now I'm gonna use uh, color. I'm gonna use the color black. Select the okay. Here done. Um, I'm gonna use a filter and I'm gonna go to blur in case she has blur. Let's set it to about too much to about 7.4 pixels. And I'm gonna lower the opacity of this. About 34 percent, like so. Okay, now you got the basic shape and the shadow of this uh, <coughs> of this box. Now we're gonna make some text. Um, let's type in uh, Nate Dark, like so. I'm going to use a different font. It's font uh, sheet. Halton. I think impact will be good. Yeah, I'm going to use impact. It's a pixel a little smaller, like so. Move it in the box. It's still a little bit too big for the box that I made. Let's make it a little bit smaller and drag it to the center. I'm gonna go to uh, lay style. I'm gonna add a gradient to it. Uh, the look I'm going for is a metal gradient, so I'm going to use this one. Select OK, then 
do the same thing, convert it to a small uh, smart objects, and I'm going to go to blending options again. I'm going to add a pattern. And no, sorry, I'm going to add a counter. And structure. Gonna go over the shirt and look again. Um Kinda like this. We have some different ones for this. Kinda like this. Um, Give us some depth. Like so. I'm gonna change the gradients underneath it. I don't really like that. It should look. Um, I'm gonna use this one. Or, no, I'm gonna use this one. Okay, so uh, we're gonna add a line around it. Same thing as we did with the uh, parks. Set it to gradient. Set it to 90 degrees. Now I'm gonna. I'll look for another gradient. Uh, first thing I'm gonna set it to 5 pixels. I like that. I'm gonna add setting to the text. Drop the opacity to about 27%, and we're gonna add a glow inside of the text. So, and of course, the shadow inside. Distance to O and the angle to ninety degrees. I'm going to add a drop shadow behind it. Just to make it stand out a little bit more. Like so. Now convert this to a smart object. We're gonna add, make it in a layer and set it to clipping mask. And what you're gonna do is use a rectangle with the color white. So change the color of this to white. I'm gonna use a gradient wood. Let's say black. Black, I think. Let's also set it to clipping mask, like so. Now we're gonna. Add a green to the black layer. Uh, sorry, green is.
kind of like this X also by the way might be using that for the next uh, video like so and drop down the, sh the scale a bit to about 112 yeah about 112 and select ok you won't be doing anything to the white layer uh, I'm gonna set it to uh, cover like so uh, overlay and I mean and set the gradient to uh, overlay it by you can set that to overlay it because she use a gradient so we're gonna set the gradient to overlay it and drop down the opacity Okay, now I'm gonna drop down the opacity of that white layer also. Like so, and um, that's pretty much it. I uh, hope you like this uh, tutorial. You can also add a another clip almost to everything. So we're gonna do that. Uh, hold up, uh, deselect the background, and we're gonna mirror to everything visible. So I'm gonna use this with a pen tool. Use color white. Add pet fill. Now set it to clipping mask and lower the opacity. can add some glow to this whatever you like and that so to overlay maybe pretty cool yeah overlay is pretty cool like so well I hope you like this tutorial don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more tutorials uh, I'm a, a little busy here lately with uh, the tutorials that I'm uh, making so uh, might not make any tutorials uh, couple I, will, I won't be posting in uh, tutorials just because uh, I will be Making some top notch, top notch uh, tutorials for you guys. So I hope you like this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And well, let me add this gradient filter. In case you were select the page. Well, I hope you like this story. Don't forget to subscribe on my channel. Uh, I didn't really came. This is a different pattern, by the way, that I've used here. Uh, so, yeah, hope you like this tutorial. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.